JE prep is simple. Learn the syllabus like your life depends on it, because it kind of does. Start with NCERT. It's not flashy, but it's where all the answers hide. Skip the fancy timetables and actually solve problems. One properly solved question beats a thousand tips and tricks videos. Take mock tests, not just to measure progress, but to survive the brutal time crunch. Analyze mistakes like a detective. Every wrong answer is a clue to what needs fixing. Consistency isn't exciting, but it's what gets results, not last minute cramming. And remember, IIT isn't the finish line. The knowledge you gain here is priceless, forming the foundation for engineering and helping you ace 90% of other entrance exams with ease. So even if you don't hit the IIT jackpot, you're building skills that will take you far. Keep going, it's worth it. Scoring well in 10th feels like standing on top of a mountain, arms wide open, ready to conquer the world until 11th hits like an avalanche, dragging you down into the abyss of integration, organic chemistry, and mechanics. The shift is brutal. In 10th, you could get by with a sharp memory and a little last minute revision. In 11th, good luck. The syllabus mutates into a three-headed beast where understanding concepts is just the start. You now need to apply them in ways your brain isn't wired for yet. The real horror show begins when JE enters the chat. Board exams want neat, structured answers with flowery explanations, while JEE wants you to solve a nightmare of a question in 30 seconds or perish. Coaching institutes preach speed, schools preach theory, and somewhere in between, students get stuck in academic limbo. Most start strong, then reality kicks in. Scores drop, confidence tanks, and stress skyrockets. Everyone's telling you to just study harder, as if that's some secret cheat code. Here's the real fix. Don't study harder, study smarter. The first mistake, treating 11th like an extension of 10th. It's not, it's a new game with new rules, and the biggest skill isn't just intelligence, it's adaptability. First, stop the I'll cover backlog later lie. It's a trap. Concepts build on each other, so let go of perfectionism and focus on moving forward. Second, balance is key. Don't let JEE prep sabotage boards. Use NCERT wisely, master concepts deeply, and practice recall instead of passive reading. Lastly, learn the art of stress management. No, not by scrolling reels at 2 a.m. Sleep well, eat right, and take breaks that don't involve existential crises. If you're in the middle of this storm, don't panic. The fall from 10th glory might feel crushing, but the climb back up is where the real growth happens. By 12th, everything starts clicking. And if you've played it right, you'll emerge battle-hardened, smarter, stronger, and ready to take on whatever comes next. If you've spent 11th doing everything except studying, you're probably feeling like a side character in your own academic journey. Watching toppers sprint ahead while you're still figuring out where the race even started. The backlog looks endless. JEE feels like an inside joke you were never in on, and your board exams are just waiting to expose you. But here's the thing. It's not over yet. 12th is your last shot. And if you play it right, you can still turn this into a comeback story. The first mistake, trying to finish all of 11th first. That's like trying to rewatch a whole anime series when you barely have time for the new season. Instead, focus on the 11th topics that actually matter. The rest, next, study like your time is actually limited, because it is. Ditch passive reading and endless note making. If a study method isn't giving you quick, measurable progress, it's dead weight. Use active recall, solve problems daily, and prioritize past year questions. For JE, 80% of the paper comes from 20% of the syllabus. So focus on high yield topics. For boards, NCRT is your non-negotiable foundation. Know it inside out before chasing extra material. And most importantly, don't let regret eat away at your 12th. The past is done, but the final battle is still ahead. Every hour spent feeling guilty is just another hour wasted. Instead of worrying about what could have been, focus on what can be done now. Most JE aspirants are stuck in the infinite study loop, where they keep cramming new topics until the very last moment, treating revision like that one cousin they remember only on birthdays. And then, when the D-Day arrives, they realize their brain is buffering at 144p. Why? Because they never actually reinforced what they learned. This is like collecting all the infinity stones but forgetting how to snap. Revision isn't optional, it's survival. If you're just hoarding concepts without revisiting them, congrats, you're officially a knowledge hoarder with zero real utility. Now, let's talk about the biggest enemy, your phone. 
You say you'll just check one notification, but suddenly it's three hours later and you're deep into a conspiracy theory about pigeons being government drones. Your screen time tracker probably has nightmares about you. The fix? Put your phone in another room, use focus apps, or at least schedule strict phone time so you don't waste half your study session doom scrolling. No, watching JE motivation reels isn't studying. The real cheat code to escaping this mess? Structured balanced study. Morning equals new concepts. Afternoon's problem solving. Evening equals revision. Rinse and repeat. And don't just stare at notes like a deer in headlights. Use active recall, mind maps, and mock tests to actually test what you know. If you can't explain a concept in simple words, you don't really know it. Bonus points if you can teach it to your friend who barely listens. It'll cement the knowledge in your head. And please, stop acting like a robot. If your break is just switching from physics to chemistry, you're not resting, you're committing self-torture. Take actual breaks. Walk, listen to music, touch some grass. Yes, real grass. Mental burnout is real, and the last thing you want is to collapse two weeks before the exam because you thought sleep was a waste of time. Look, JE prep is a grind, but it doesn't have to be suffering for the sake of suffering. Study smart, not just hard. Prioritize revision, control distractions, and keep your sanity intact. You're not just preparing for an exam, you're leveling up for life. If your mock test scores are still stuck between 20 to 80 overall, it's time to rethink your strategy. Instead of blindly following the JE rat race, focus on state-level CETs like MHT, CET, and KCET, which have the same syllabus as their respective state boards. By preparing for these exams, you're not only covering CET material, but also your board exams. This double advantage puts you in a prime position. Here's the key. While others are still scrambling to prepare for JEE, many will realize too late that they should have focused on CETs. By the time they switch gears, you'll already be ahead of them, mastering the syllabus and gaining confidence. Dedicating yourself to MHT CET or KCET will significantly increase your chances of scoring higher than those juggling multiple exams, and you'll be much better prepared than someone who rushes to study for CETs later. Top CETs like MHT CET open doors to renowned colleges such as COEP Pune, VJTI Mumbai, and ICT Mumbai, while KCET offers opportunities at leading institutions like RV College of Engineering, PES University, and MSRIT. The competition is more manageable, and with focused preparation, you can secure a place in these great colleges. It may sound dumb now to shift your focus away from JEE, but this will likely be the smartest decision you'll ever make. You'll have a clear head start over those who realize too late that they should have paid attention to CETs. Don't wait until it's too late. The clock is ticking, and this could be your golden opportunity to stay ahead and secure a bright future. Humans are wired for ambition, but cursed with laziness because our brains crave achievement yet hate discomfort. We dream big, but default to the easiest path, tricking ourselves with procrastination and dopamine hits. Fix it fast. One, set brutal deadlines. Urgency kills overthinking. Two, make failure costly. Public bets force action. Three, shrink the task. Small wins snowball into momentum.